Now just as an addendum, this is the part I actually ended up replacing. It's called the splutch. It's also sometimes called a cam. And here is the Whirlpool part number for my particular washer. You should look up your specific model number for your washer to make sure you get the right part. Um, but how what this does is it actually is a a linkage that connects the motor to the the basket for spinning. So this is the motor pulley that you saw in the video spinning. And then it, it connects to this thing and this is actually the splutch it engages with teeth. Let's just do this part. It engages with teeth to the pulley there. And then this has splines in here and those splines engage the basket. So when this is locked on here, these spin together and the basket is going to spin with the motor. So that would be the spin cycle. Now during the agitation, you don't want that to happen. And so what happens is this cam, this mechanism gets pulled up here and it actually retracts the, the uh, teeth up. So then it's not touching that. There's a inner spline here and an inner this is spline to the inner shaft which goes through here and so this pulley is connected to the agitator and there's a planetary gear set and all that um, but that's the actual part so to replace this is just really easy you go underneath and you just remove this nut and then all this stuff comes off and you just put the new one new kit on so the, this is everything that's included with the kit and you re just replace that all so that is what I did and the clicking seemed to be much improved or completely gone I'm not sure if it's a hundred percent fixed but it's a lot better than it was so hopefully that helps you